Hello guys, welcome back to our channel and today we are going to discuss some basic terms that which are infiltration, percolation and seepage and today in this lecture we will be discussing the difference between all these three terms. Now, what about infiltration and what about percolation and what about seepage? Aren't these three uh, terms confusing? But when uh, after watching this video today, uh, your all misconceptions will be covered up. Now, what about infiltration? See guys, uh, infiltration is basically the term uh, which actually uh, defines when the water that is on the surface of earth or for example in a rainfall event, when the rainfall, uh, rain falls on the ground, okay? When the rain falls on the ground, uh, the entry of water from the surface of earth inside is called as infiltration and this is always due to gravity only so infiltration occurs due to gra gravity now uh, what is infiltration rate it is the rate at which the mo uh, the moisture enters the soil okay now if we have a dry soil obviously in a rainfall event the inf uh, infiltration rate will be very high initially and that's called as infiltration capacity Okay, so infiltration is basically a term that uh, denotes when the uh, when the water on the surface of Earth enters the Earth. Okay, enters the soil from the surface of Earth. That's called as infiltration. Now, what about percolation? As this water, uh, uh, as this water uh, moves inside the Earth, okay, and it joins a water table. Okay, it joins a water table. This is called as percolation. So the movement of water due to gravity inside the earth when the water moves uh, to, uh, to the uh, and joins the water table. That's called as percolation. So the infiltration is basically the movement of water from, uh, from the surface of earth inside the earth and then inside the earth when this moves, this water moves vertically downwards. Okay. And it joins a water table over there, then that's called as percolation. Now both the infiltration and per percolation, both the process occurs only due to gravity and due to gravity obviously there will, can be only vertical direction, okay? There can be only vertical direction of movement. So infiltration and percolation occur, they occur vertically. Now what about seepage? Now seepage is very different from the infiltration and percolation. Seepage is actually the movement of water inside the earth inside the soil due to the pressure difference and due to the pressure difference it can be vertical it can be horizontal so the seepage it is actually due to pressure it is actually due to pressure difference now for example if i have a dam over here for example and i have i have, I have some sheet sheet piles as well to prevent the pipes and uplift of dam now uh, the height of water is here it's it's somewhat maybe H okay and uh, at the below at the, at the downstream of the structure maybe okay we have a water height that is small H okay so now we have a di now we have a pressure head difference of H minus small H capital H minus small H so there is a pressure gradient existing between this the ammo, uh, the water over here and the water over here now this water will try to seep it will show seepage how it will show seepage it will obviously it will come down okay along the sheet pile and then move maybe go upwards if i have some some more sheet piles over here and it will move so it what i mean to say it can move uh, vertically downwards it can move horizontally and it can move horizontally upwards as well so this is what seepage is so hope you have uh, enjoyed this short video about infiltration, percolation and seepage. Okay, thank you. See you soon.